Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve NCERT Maths Class 6, Chapter 11, Algebra Exercise 11.4, Question Number 2. So friends, without wasting any time, let us begin. This question is, change the following statements using expressions into statements in ordinary language. Okay, now a statement is given, we have to change it into ordinary language right so see how for example given that salim scores r runs in a cricket match right so he scores r runs in a cricket match and uh, nalin scores r plus 15 runs right so he scores r plus 15 runs in a match in ordinary language nalin scores 15 runs more than salim right so that means if you see r plus 15 R is the um, uh, number of runs scored by Salim and 15 means that Nalin scored 15 more runs than R runs which are scored by Salim, right? So, he scored 15 runs more than that scored by Salim, right? Now, see this only we have to use for converting these statements to uh, ordinary language, right? So, a uh, notebook costs rupees P, a book costs rupees 3P. So, now if you have to see, so there is a notebook and that is, uh, that costs rupees P. So, P rupees it costs, right? And then you have a book. Book costs uh, 3P rupees, right? Now, if you have to write it, so we can say that, now if you see a notebook and a book, which one is more expensive? Yes, you, you can see that uh, here 3P will be uh, having greater value and so that the book will be expensive because you are multiplying something here that is cost of this one notebook right so you we can say that a book costs uh, now how can you say this so you can see uh, 3p is written here so p is the uh, amount for a notebook right you can see and 3 3p is that amount mul is multiplied by 3, right? So, 3 times the amount of a notebook that is p. So, we can say a book costs 3 times more than the cost of a notebook, right? That is what will be our answer. A book costs 3 times more than the cost of a notebook right so this is what we will write here three times uh, than uh, over here you can write here the uh, three times more than the cost of a notebook right so 3p is here that means 3 multiplied by p p is the cost of a notebook let's move on to the b part now we move on to the b part this is Tony puts Q marbles on the table. He has 8 Q marble in his box. Tony is a boy. He is having some marbles. He puts Q marbles on the table. Okay. And he has some mar marbles in his box also. And that number of marble is 8 Q. 8 Q means 8 times the, uh, the marbles on the table. Because you can see Q marbles it has put on the table. And 8 Q is... 8 times the marbles on the table. So, 8 times the marble on the table uh, is the number of marbles in the box. Now, how can we write this in simple language, simple words? See, we can write it as that Tony's box contains 8 times the marbles uh, on the table right so tony's box contains eight times the marbles on the table on the table now eight times why because you can see that this is eight q so multiplied by eight so eight times more let's move on to the next part now let's move on to the c part this is our class has n students, the school has 20 n students. Now, uh, you know a class it is having n number of students, right? Then the school and that school has 20 n students. So, 20 into n 
n is the number of students in the class that means school has 20 times the students in our class now simply we can write it as total number of students in the school is 20 times that of our class right so you can see that how we have multiplied the number of students in a class 20 times to get number of students in the school same is uh, simply we have written that in normal words total number of students in the school is 20 times that of our class let's move on to the d part now we move on to the b d part so this is jaggu is z years old his uncle is 4 z years old and his aunt is 4 z minus 3 years old now you can see that jaggu's uncle is 4z years old and Jaggu is z years old that indicates that Jaggu's uncle is four times the age of Jaggu right so you can say four times older than Jaggu right so we can write here that first of all Jaggu's uncle is or uh, is four times okay four times older than Jaggu okay so Jaggu's uncle is four times older than Jaggu now and we have to write for the for Jaggu's aunt as well you can see 4z minus 3 so what can you see is this 4z here 4z here this is uh, Jaggu's uncle's age and minus 3 means 3 years from that that means we can say that Jaggu's, uh, uh, Jaggu's aunt is three years younger than his uncle right so you can say that Jaggu's aunt is three years younger than his uncle right so that is how we can say so than his uncle okay now let us move on to the e part let's move on so this is in an arrangement of dots there are r rows okay each row contains five dots now if you see so now you can see that uh, if uh, there is one row okay and one row is having five dots suppose if there are r rows how many dots will be there suppose this is one uh, row of dot and each row contains five right so suppose i make two here okay so you can see five here five here okay two rows also made now if you have to see so we can say that the total number of dots in the rows right the total number of dots basically is five times the number of rows suppose here there are how many rows two rows and in each row there is five there are five dots so two into five and that is ten you can count one two three four five one two three four five 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 ten so that means what total number of dots is five times more than the number of rows right so you can write here that total number of dots is five times more the number of rows right so you can write here number of rows so this is how uh, we have uh, converted this into the statement and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon down below so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video also leave a like on this video till then stay home stay safe wear a mask maintain social distancing take good care of yourself bye bye